completed wave two today. I got Kyle Bush, which was the missing piece uh, of that wave. I got everything else. I got, let's see what was in that wave. I got the, well, okay, I didn't get everything like the, um, the Austin Dillon. I already got that in a Daytona wave, so I didn't get this one in this wave technically. I took back the Alex Bowman. And I gave them, uh, I gave the 99 or the 98 to a friend of mine and then the 24 I didn't need so I didn't get and then well I took back I don't remember which one and we actually I actually found the uh, the chase piece for this wave but a friend of mine uh, the same friend I gave the 98 to he kind of snatched that before I did so I don't have that but that's all right and then finally we got the Chicago land piece from Kyle Busch, uh, the win. So that kind of completed it today because I didn't think that I was going to get it because uh, I thought just that finished with Kyle and Kyle. I didn't know if I was able, able or going to be able to get it, but I was. So, I mean, finally, uh, it came in. Now we're just looking for wave three and we got uh, those trucks coming in soon. And I think I've got one more kind of cool one from uh the wave three i don't really remember it's been a while since i looked into it so we're gonna have to look into that again but here is kyle bush's uh wave two uh die cast from chicagoland this was his fifth win of the year i believe and uh i actually know the stickers that he won before or the races that he won before this race so i'll actually tell you now but here is the wave uh the whole wave the rest of it anyway like i said i still didn't uh, keep these two here, but I did uh, uh, get the ones from last year. So that doesn't really <clears throat> matter to me because I'm not super collective, but it looks exactly the same from last year. So why get it again? I kind of think it's a waste. But 2019, uh, oh well, you know, whatever. I guess it's a difference, but I don't really care myself. Now, as uh, some of you, uh, God, now that was weird. As some of you know, uh, this race had one of the best finishes of the season for 2018. It was actually pretty awesome. Well, we had um, Kyle and Kyle, or Kyle went to the bottom and pulled a slide job. That's what uh, made Dale Jr. Um, come more internet famous this time instead of just uh, like NASCAR community famous. Um, but he pulled the slide job on Kyle Busch. Got up into Kyle Busch, got Kyle in the wall. Uh, both Kyles got in the wall, actually. And then <clears throat> Kyle Busch came back onto Kyle Larson, bumped him, uh, got him loose, had him drift around uh, in the turn four. And then Kyle went down on the apron. Kyle Larson uh, was able to save that. But Kyle Busch passed him and got the victory. And still Kyle Larson came second. So that was one of the, one of the better finishes of 2018. And I actually have the die cast from that here. And I like it, uh, or the Kyle Larson from here. I like how they, or how Lionel puts both die cast, uh, or cars, I guess, from that race into die cast form into uh, Wave 2. So that was, that was pretty cool Lionel to do. I kind of wish I'd do that like a little bit more with stuff like that. But they're coming out with a, um, a uh, like a three piece for William Byron. It was Truck, Xfinity, and Cup. And, like, that's pretty cool. I may get that and review that as well when it comes out. But even though it wasn't really a set, it still come or it still came from the same race. So, you know, that's pretty cool. So, we got uh, the card here. You see Kyle holding uh, his die cast there. Not the same one. That's like, oh, I can't tell if that's, I can't tell what that is, but, or what year that is. But there's Kyle there after uh, winning that race. And you got the, him doing the burnout in the background. Uh, Kyle Bush, is that? It's like a skewed. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. But Kyle Busch, Chicagoland Speedway, uh, over tons 400, uh, 400, uh, 400 winner on July 1st, 2018. Got the stats on the back. Date was July 1st of 2018. The time of race was 2 hours, 50 minutes, and 52 seconds. He started 16th and led 267 total laps. No, he didn't lead. That was the laps of the race. My bad. Number of cautions was 5 for 23. Uh, laps led by winner was 59. That's what he led was 59. The margin of victory was 1 point, uh, let's just say 1.88 seconds instead of 8.875. Uh, 
This was his 48th uh, NASCAR corrupts, uh, corrupt NASCAR Cup Series win. So he got his 48th there at Chicagoland, and just recently got his uh, 200th win overall in Truck Xfinity Cup. I don't think they should count the Truck Xfinity Cup, but it was overall. It was an overall thing. So yeah, I'm mean, gonna get that. But let's see if he can get 200 wins in the Cup Series. Well, it's, that's a little more of, a, of an accomplishment because truck and um, Xfinity, when you're a veteran like that and you go into the lower teams and kind of win, it's a little little unfair, especially when you're Kyle Busch. But, you know, that's just kind of my opinion. But he still got it, so it counts, I guess. But let's go ahead and a, uh, take a look at... Oh, Jesus. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, the detail here. So you got Skittles, got some uh, confetti there. Not much, but you still have some. You got some uh, dirt and buildup right there. You got a little more confetti right there on the back with 18 uh, on the roof. And you got on the spoiler, you got some dirt buildup or rubber buildup. And then you got Skittles and some um, confetti there. I don't know what's the black around the confetti, but I don't know if that's just like other stuff going on. Um, got the back here. Got some confetti and got something that I put this up a little bit high. Looks like. I don't think that KSC and that Toyota uh, logo is supposed to be up on the spoiler like that. But you know what? I guess that's okay. Still pretty cool. And here's here's like one of the good, the good spots. This is where I believe this is where the first time uh, he got put in the wall. Or maybe the second time. He got a little, he hit a little harder the second time. When he put uh, Kyle Larson in the wall. But here's some damage. You got uh, some tear there. You got some scrapes. Got a scrape down the side of the 18. Got some more damage here on the bottom. Got some uh, more like. This is kind of where the tire kind of uh, shredded out there on the front. And I kind of wish they had tire detail. Like just blacking it out. It doesn't have to be like shredded or anything. Because I know it's a little bit harder. On the uh, the 164s, but I do wish I kind of blacked it out. I would do that myself, but I kind of don't want to risk that. But who knows? I may do it one day. I may not. But uh, we have not taken a look at the uh, winter stickers yet. So let's do that real quick, and I'll name off what he has won. So the four over here, uh, I believe, was from in order. Uh, was from Texas first, then Bristol. Then Richmond, and then Charlotte, or the Coke 600. And then they have uh, they have five on this side, where it's like a victory lane. Uh, reference is kind of what they go by. That's why the confetti's on there. And then they put the sticker on there and victory lane. And then there was his fifth one from this race. So, pretty cool diecast overall. Uh, I don't think we took... I don't, I actually, geez, I can't speak. I don't think we took a look at this one here. But we got some uh, tire markings there. A little bit more uh, scrape right here on the top part of that. Got some more little bit up there. Got a little bit on the front there. Not not much, but got some more over here. I yeah, got a little bit of a just kind of racing markings here. Then got some on the rear wheel well right there. I think the Skittles is a little little slanted, but I mean that's that's okay, I guess. Still kind of disappointed about the uh, the whole uh, sp spoiler thing there. But, you know, not too big of a deal. Still a pretty cool looking die cast overall. So I'm not too mad about it. But, like, detail wise, well, I know that a pretty darn good job, I must say, on that. But this is, um, like I said, this comes with, it doesn't come with it. But, of course, you got the other one here. Uh, I put, I'm using this in the race. So I got my banners on there. But this has the, um, the damage on it as well. And you can see the bump where. He kind of smashed into the back of them and just kind of spun them out. So these two right here are some pretty, pretty uh, cool die casts to have together. Just you know, just from memories, I guess you could say, just from history. There we go, not memories, history. But that was a pretty darn good race. I don't, really, I don't like really remember what happened through a lot of it because it didn't really, like, I wasn't really watching it. But I do remember that finish, and that was a great finish. So, there you go. There's a review. Uh, I was able to get it in um, uh, Wave 2, finally, which would, again, complete what I was looking for. Now we're just kind of looking for Wave 3. 
So hopefully we can get that in soon. Actually, hopefully not, because I'm like, oh, a lot. Come on. But you know what? It's all good. I'm making it back up. I'm not, <laughs> I'm nowhere near as bad as it was before. But we're going to look for wave three and uh, see how that goes. So that's going to be all for this episode. Uh, well, not really episode, but this uh, diecast unboxing. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. I'll, I'll